If you are a Christian and you're seeking therapy, before anything, I want to say congratulations. This is a bold move, but it's so necessary. When you communicate that you want counsel, that you want to seek therapy, that is the first sign of freedom. That is the first step to your healing, admitting that you need help. I think that's a beautiful place to be. And then the next step is seeking the help that you need. Today, I want to answer the question, is it okay for a Christian to seek therapy from a therapist that isn't a Christian? If this is important for you to learn, please stay connected. Well, my answer is yes. I do not see a problem if you are seeking therapy and you feel that the best fit for you is a specific therapist that doesn't state that they are a believer. I don't see a problem with it. But what can become an issue is if in the beginning when you are seeking out this therapist and you see in their portfolio or throughout the therapy process, you learn that there are other practices that this therapist practices and is integrating them in the sessions with you. The Bible talks about renewing the mind and the benefits of doing that and how necessary it is. The word of God also tells us that the reason why we need to renew our minds is so that we won't follow the patterns of this world. And there are a lot of patterns in this world that are being communicated and learned and practiced that are not biblical, that are antichrist. And so if you are a believer of Jesus Christ and you are a Christian, a practicing Christian, but you also know that you need counsel, which is another beneficial thing that the word of God encourages us to do. It is very important that you assess with your therapist and explore what are their spiritual practices and if they will be integrating them in their therapy sessions. So it is important that before you seek out the therapist, that you ask yourself, where do I stand with God? What are the things that are important to me? You see, the moment that I see that the therapist that is supporting you is crossing the line, crossing the faith line and integrating practices that are against your faith in Jesus Christ, I would say that is where the line is crossed and perhaps there needs to be a termination in the therapy session. I believe that the mind is spiritual. If there is a surgery that needs to happen in the brain, the surgeon cannot touch the mind but the surgeon can touch the brain. The mind is nothing that you can touch, but everything you experience, right? So when we're talking about renewing the mind, there is a spiritual connection that happens that honestly can even be avoided in the therapy session. And so if your therapist is not a believer, it is very important that you from the beginning communicate to them where we're not going to cross the line right? What is your non-negotiables when it comes to talking about spirituality? So yes, you can seek out therapy from a therapist that isn't a believer, but understand before walking into the session, what your non-negotiables are when it comes to your faith. But if you are somebody that is a Christian and integrating faith is important for you, for the renewing of your mind, for the benefit of your mental health, I would suggest to seek out a therapist who communicates in their portfolio from the beginning that they believe in Jesus Christ. But to be honest, even then, it is still important that you interview your therapist and explore with them what does that mean? What does it mean when you say that you are a Christian therapist? If anybody who is a believer here and is debating is counseling from God anyways, I want to tell you, yes. It is something that he encourages us to do. It is something that we should be doing. We need support. As humans, we need help. And that is totally okay. But as a believer in Jesus Christ, it is important that you assess who you are partnering with to come and restore your mind, to come and renew your mind, right? And so if you are a Christian who already has a therapist who may not be a believer, that's okay. But I want you to be mindful from today on to make sure that there isn't any negotiation in your faith, in your sessions, that the therapist who is working with you isn't encouraging you 
to tap in to spiritual practices that may be anti-Christ. So be mindful of this. And one way to be mindful of this is that you pray and you ask the Holy Spirit to give you that discernment, to give you a revelation, right, of the things that you're discussing with your therapist and making sure that it aligns to God and that your therapist is not disconnecting you from God, but rather after your sessions, you want to get closer to God. So that's a big indication if you are a Christian and already have a therapist who isn't a believer, but they're doing a great job with you. I also want you to assess your faith life, your walk with Christ and assess and ask yourself, are these sessions pulling me closer to want to seek more of God? Or are they making me stray away? Not the therapist. The therapist cannot make you do anything. But are my conversations is what I'm entertaining is the ideas that are being communicated to me, making me go to God or run from him. Sometimes this is happening subconsciously. We're not aware of that this is happening. So be mindful that when you are in your prayer time, that you ask the Holy Spirit, are these sessions pulling me closer to you or am I going astray, right? If you ever feel in your sessions like your therapist may be taking you away from the things of God, do not be afraid to communicate that. We're not going to blame the therapist. We're not going to say, hey, why are you doing this? But rather, I've noticed these patterns in my life. And I noticed in our conversations that sometimes I feel like I'm negotiating my faith when in sessions specifically, when these ideas are being communicated or when we are engaging in this type of intervention. i rather not continue doing these interventions because as I was assessing, it actually doesn't align to my faith in Jesus Christ. You have all the right to communicate that because remember, this is your journey of restoring your mind, right? So before you seek out a therapist, you have to assess and know where you stand in your faith in Jesus Christ. Understand what your negotiables and non-negotiables are and it is totally okay for you to communicate that to your therapist, especially if they're a non-believer or even a believing Christian therapist. Hey, this is where I stand in my belief in Jesus Christ. And I want to be able to support that. I want to be able to protect that. So overall, my recommendation is to be honest from the beginning, right? If you feel connected with a therapist and they're not a believer, it is important that you communicate to them that where you stand and what's important to you, your therapist is going to appreciate that. And if they don't, that's fine. This is an indication that perhaps these sessions should not continue or they should not even begin, right? So Christian or non-Christian therapist, you have the right to interview your therapist before continuing in any therapy session. Make sure that no one, that no therapist, no matter Christian or non-Christian therapist, is straying you away from God, but rather helping you pursue God in a deeper way. If you are a Christian and you're seeking counseling, make sure that you know what you're not going to bend to and what are the things that you stand for. And you have all the right to communicate that from the beginning. This is your treatment. This is your journey of health. So if you are a standing Christian and saying, I declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, you have the right to communicate to anybody that services you where you stand and what you will not allow and the things that you will engage in. True renewal of the mind only can happen through the power of the Holy Spirit. If you are a Christian seeking therapy, discern the spirits, ask the Holy Spirit to connect you with somebody that is aligned to his truth because only God's truth can set us free. Jesus is the answer. Seek out a therapist who's filled with the Holy Spirit. And if they aren't, make sure that you set your non-negotiable straight, that you know where you stand in Jesus Christ, and do not be ashamed to communicate that to your therapist when you're seeking or if you are already in therapy. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is something that you love to hear and want to learn more of, please subscribe. Share this with anybody who you believe will appreciate this video. Please set your comments down below. Tell me about your experience 
in seeking therapy from a non-believing therapist or a believing therapist. What has been your experience? I want to know it. And I can't wait for more videos that I'll be putting out. You can also watch other videos that I have posted on faith and mental health. Until next time, take care.